Hello guys, welcome to Hot Ninja Entertainment. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Anytime they come across this video. And guys, if this is your first time passing through this YouTube channel, don't forget to support this channel by hitting the subscribe button and on the bell icon and share this video. God bless you as you do so and God bless my subscribers and my followers on Facebook. I know the way we did the analyze and here now. The way we just see the matter and so we take the table round. You are there speaking good grammar, speaking big grammar, arguing who is Niger Delta, who is Biafra. Nigeria is already taking over. Fulani has taken over Nigeria completely. It is over. It is all over. Now, listen to this. About me talking. Oh, the president has said it to Nigerians already. 2021. December 2021. That is, that is essentially two years from now. That's what it is. So now, that's that. Now, phase two. And we, we, we really don't want it. We're, because of our history, we don't want to get ahead of ourselves. Mm -hmm. We want to show Nigerians first that phase one is what we say it is. And this is it's what we're, that we're, yes, that we're serious about what we're talking about. But phase two, just for our people to know, mm -hmm. is that by t December 2023, uh, we're, we're building right now, a, uh, we're in the process of finalizing the financing, I should say, to be mm -hmm. very precise, mm -hmm. on a $2.8 billion uh, gas pipeline. Because Mr. President has strategically uh, seen, he's looking into the future and you can see mm -hmm. that oil is going to give way eventually. Mm -hmm. By 2040, oil is not going to be the commodity that it is right now. Mm -hmm. But what will still be a very hot commodity internationally is gas. Yes. So what Mr. President is doing is he's, he's, put, he's placing the Nigeria into a kind of a strategic pivot mm -hmm. from oil, maximizing our oil production now while it's still hot, but ensuring that we use those resources to pivot more into gas. Mm -hmm. So we finished the FID, the uh, financial investment, uh, the final investment decision mm -hmm. on NLNG train seven. Now what that uh, means, what that means for us uh, is that a third one third of our total gas production in the nation today, one third of it mm -hmm. is going to be added to the, to the current total of gas that we're adding, just mm -hmm. with this one uh, added train seven that we're putting into place. Mm -hmm. So it's a very big deal. That's just one effort. So now we're building this $2.8 billion pipeline that's going to take, uh, it's going to come from the Niger Delta through Ajeokuta into Kaduna mm -hmm. into Kano. Mm -hmm. Now, the, the long, the medium term, this is why I say the president is a visionary. People don't yet know, but they're going to be finding out as time goes on. The reason why he's, he's constructing it is for two reasons. One, we need to industrialize northern Nigeria. It's very, very important for several reasons, for several reasons, social reasons, economic reasons. It just, we need to do that. That's number one. Number two is we want to connect that gas pipeline up through Niger Republic into Algeria, Tunisia, and all of these North African countries that need our gas. Mm -hmm. They are dependent right now on, on, on insufficient gas supply from some other countries, and they have interest in making sure that we have this abundant gas, and that could be the future of the Nigerian economy. Mm -hmm. So instead of talking about oil revenue... $2.8 billion project, is, it is not reflecting in the budget. $2.8 billion pipeline project. The Senate did not approve it. $2.8 billion project. At least, if the Senate have approved it, we don't know. They have approved it in the secret. We are not aware. Nobody is aware. So, the approval and the readings in the Senate must have been secret because nobody have talked about it. So, $2.8 billion to lay pipeline. On that pipeline from Niger Delta is targeting at two. Want to, they have to achieve two things. One is industrialization of Northern Nigeria. Industrialization of Northern Nigeria. It is not industrialization of Nigeria. It did not say boosting the economy of Nigeria. Rather, industrialization of Nigeria. Two is to bring oil, gas to the northern Africa where the jihadists that will come to fight for them will be coming from. The government that have already pledged to pump and supply them with jihadists to come and fight over Nigeria. That is now they are going to compensate them with gas so that they don't have any business with Niger Delta. Are you hearing that? And by the way, the facial expression on those ladies, 
they are just priceless. I'm talking about oil revenues, I'm talking about we're switching we're already. Right, we're already we're moving into agriculture, mm -hmm. uh, we're, we're moving into solid mineral reasons. One, we need to industrialize northern Nigeria. It's very, very important for several reasons. One, we need to industrialize northern Nigeria. It's very, very important for several reasons. One, we need to industrialize northern Nigeria. It's very, very important for several reasons. One, we need to industrialize northern Nigeria. It's very, very important for several, for several reasons. For several reasons. Social reasons, economic reasons. It just, we need to do that. That's number one. Number two is we want to connect that gas pipeline up through Niger Republic into Algeria, Tunisia, and all of this. One. Number two is we want to connect that gas pipeline up through Niger Republic into Algeria, Tunisia, and all of these North African That's countries. Number one. Number two is we want to connect that gas pipeline up through Niger Republic into Algeria, Tunisia, and all of these North African okay. countries. Then. Now. Uh, we're, we're, we're going to close financing on that with a Chinese, uh, with a Chinese firm within the next, uh, I believe it's now four months from now. I think it's, we're expecting it around February or March to close on the finance. Now, once that is done, we begin constru construction. Now, on, on that pipeline, we're going to build three uh, uh, gas-fired power plants on that pipeline. Simultaneously, we're not waiting for the pipeline to finish. We're doing it together so that they finish together. So now what you're going to have is you're going to have a, a gas-fired a gas power plant in Abuja, 1,350 uh, 1, megawatts. You'll have a gas-fired power plant in Kaduna, 1,350 megawatts. And another gas plant in Kano, 1,350 megawatts. You put that together, that's 4,000 megawatts. One Nigeria people, one Nigeria people, one power plant in Abuja, another power plant in Kaduna, another power plant in Kano. Because these three places are the only Nigeria. We're going to build three uh, uh, gas-fired power plants on that pipeline. Simultaneously, we're not waiting for the pipeline to finish. We're doing it together so that they finish together. So now what you're going to have is you're going to have a, a gas-fired gas power plant in Abuja, 1,350 uh, 1, megawatts. You'll have a gas-fired power plant in Kaduna, 1,350 megawatts. And another gas plant in Kano, 1,350 megawatts. You put that together, that's 4,000 megawatts. Now, you now I ask you all to go and, and watch the Ahmedou Bello proclamation philosophy modernization of Nigeria. Nderi Neri. The one Nigeria Nderi Neri. The governors Nderi Neri. Senators Nderi Neri. All the people shouting one Nigeria, you have been scammed. You have been scammed. You have been scammed. Thank you for watching that video and guys before you leave don't forget to subscribe see you guys in my next video